Hey guys, Mike Burke here with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to discuss the best sites to use to license music for your real estate videos. If you're creating any sort of real estate videos such as walkthrough videos, drone videos, or slideshow videos, you're no doubt on the lookout for music to use in your projects. If you ever tried to just use any popular song that you may know of, or maybe your client requested, you probably already know that you're going to run into some big problems once your video is live online. Social media platforms will flag the video if they detect any copyrighted music and either mute the audio or take the video down altogether, which is obviously not what we want to happen. Also, your clients will not be very happy if the video they paid for to market their listing is being taken down online and not serving them properly. The correct thing to do to avoid any problems is to license your music tracks, and there are plenty of good music licensing sites out there to do just that. Real estate videos are paid commercial work, so yes, you do need to pay to license a music track for use in your video, and most of these sites have different payment options to choose from. These days, most of them lean towards a subscription-based payment plan where you pay either a yearly or monthly subscription fee and you can download as many tracks as you want. In addition to subscription plans, some of these sites do allow you to pay per track. So depending on how many videos you make, you will have to decide which site and which payment model works best for you and your business. If you make a lot of videos, then obviously a subscription plan will benefit you most and save you some money. But if you only make a few videos here and there, then a pay by track model may be the way to go. In this video, I'm going to outline five great music licensing sites that I know of and highlight some differences between them so that you may make an educated decision on which site or sites that you may want to use to acquire music tracks for your real estate videos. My criteria for a good music licensing site is simple. High quality content, devoid of any corny stock music, and offered at an affordable price. Alright, let's get into it. So my go-to site, which happens to be the lowest price out of the group, and also in my opinion, the highest value, is Soundstripe. They have a lot of high quality content to choose from, and the site is nicely designed and easy to navigate and browse. They are also versatile as far as pricing goes, allowing you to pay monthly at $15 a month or yearly at $135 a year, which equates to $11.25 a month, saving you a bit of money. You can also pay by track on Soundstripe for $39.95 per track, which is also the least expensive per track price out of all the sites we're going to discuss in this video. I'd also like to mention that if you use the link down in the description and use the coupon code Inside Real Estate Photography, that will save you an extra 10% off a yearly or monthly subscription. Just to be transparent, Soundstripe is not sponsoring this video, nor did they ask me to make it. I asked them to be an affiliate member, they did not approach me. In other words, I personally enjoy using their service and I'm promoting them because I think they're the best option out there for music licensing for independent real estate photographers like myself and many others out there like you. What I love about their licensing model is that it's dead simple. Pay the subscription fee and you can download as many songs as you want and use them in whatever videos you want. I use them in these YouTube videos and a bunch of other videos that I make. That is not always clear on other music licensing platforms and they may make you pay more for certain commercial usages, which is the territory we are in with real estate videos. I love being able to just go on there, pick out a song I like and download it, knowing that I don't have to worry about whether or not I have the correct license and if I'm going to run into any problems. I download a ton of songs from them over the span of the year and I definitely get my money's worth by far. To save you a lot of time and trouble sifting through pages of songs, I took the time to curate a playlist of songs that I use for real estate videos on Soundstripe. I will share a link with you of that playlist down in the description of this video so that if you decide to sign up for Soundstripe, or even if you're already a member, you'll be able to hit the ground running with a bunch of real estate video friendly songs ready to go. The one bit of a downside to Soundstripe is that their library isn't quite as large as some of the other sites we're going to be talking about, however I find there's plenty of tracks to work with for our uses. It's fine to reuse a song here and there for real estate videos if necessary anyway. Their library is growing all the time though and since I started using them a couple years ago it's expanded and improved quite a bit. My second favorite music licensing site is Artlist. It is slightly more expensive than Soundstripe but it does have a larger music library to choose from. Another notable difference from Soundstripe is that it only has one subscription plan which is a yearly subscription plan at $199, which breaks down to be about $16.60 a month, which is about $5 more expensive than Soundstripe's yearly subscription plan, or about $64 more a year total. Artlist has the same simple licensing model as Soundstripe, which is why it's my other favorite. 
You pay the subscription fee and you can download as many songs as you want and use them in whatever videos you want. The only reason I put it in second place behind Soundstripe is that it is a bit more expensive and even though you have access to a larger library of music, you may not need them all, so it's not necessarily worth the extra money. If you only want to subscribe to one site a year, an idea might be to subscribe to Soundstripe for a year, then maybe the next year subscribe to Artlist to keep things fresh. They both have high quality content and you can't really go wrong with either one. Another high quality music licensing site to have on your radar is Musicvine. It is the most expensive one so far though at $24.99 a month for the monthly option or about $240 for the yearly option which brings the monthly price down to about $19.99 a month saving you 20%. You can license per track here too without a subscription starting at $49 a track. I love the design and browsing experience of the site and there are a lot of high quality tracks to choose from. The library is on the smaller side though. It's comparable to the size of Soundstripe's library, but it costs over $8 more a month than Soundstripe costs. The price here I think is the biggest problem and what makes it hard to choose this site over Soundstripe, which is far cheaper and has a similar size library, or Artlist, which is still cheaper and has an even larger library. It's not so expensive though that it's cost prohibitive, and I think it remains a viable third option if you like the songs on the site, or maybe you used other services in the past and were looking for a change. The next site I want to mention is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound also has flexible licensing options as it allows for monthly subscriptions, yearly subscriptions, or pay by track. However, the only viable option price-wise in my opinion is the yearly subscription which costs $299, which breaks down to about $25 a month. If you want to pay monthly, that price doubles to $49 a month. Or if you want to pay by track and not subscribe, the price per track is $99 a track. So as you see, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense financially to choose either of those options. There is a cheaper plan, but it doesn't allow for commercial use, which is what we're using it for. Epidemic Sound has a huge library, which is its greatest strength and probably why it's priced higher than the others. I'm definitely not a fan of its site design or browsing experience though. It seems very outdated and cumbersome. The music is the most important thing though and it does have a lot of high quality tracks to choose from which is why I'm including it in this video. Its yearly subscription price is the highest of all the sites we mentioned so far, but it is within the ballpark of the other sites, making it worthy of consideration. The last site I will mention is Musicbed, however it is far and away the most expensive of the group at $99 a month for commercial uses. You can also pay by track which will cost you $199 for a commercial license, which for real estate videos is pretty steep being that most of us are not working with a very big budget, so that will not be a viable option for the majority of us. Even though it's expensive, I wanted to mention Musicbed because it's widely considered to be the best music licensing site out there today and the price reflects that. They have a fantastic library containing the cream of the crop of licensable music. The site is well designed and easy to navigate and a great experience overall. Even though $99 a month is a lot for most of us, I still think it's in the realm of affordability if you're out shooting a lot of videos every month. I think it especially makes sense if you're a real estate photography company with a team of shooters that are out shooting a lot of content week by week. If you think about it in those terms, $99 a month really isn't that bad to have access to the best music licensing site out there. I will mention as well that the pricing structure is very convoluted and some songs may cost more depending on the usage. It's not a cut and dry subscription like some of the other sites we talked about. This is my biggest gripe with Musicbed. Maybe you're new to the music licensing world or maybe you've been using the same site for a while and are looking for a change. Either way, I hope this video gave you some insight on where to gain access to some great music tracks for your real estate videos. I think the clear way to go for any of them is the yearly subscription if they offer it as it will save you the most money. To recap, I think Soundstripe is the best value closely followed by Artlist. Those are my top two choices, but I think all of these sites have their merits. What about you guys? Are there any other sites that I didn't mention in this video that you like to use to get music for your real estate videos? Have you used the sites that I mentioned? What have your experiences been like? Please share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I will put links down in the description below to all these sites that we talked about in this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe and enable notifications if you haven't done so already. Thanks again guys and I'll see you on the next one.